Fox 29 News in HD, brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. Right now on Fox 29 News at 5, the new link between pregnancy and autism. Dr. Oz breaks down new research to help calm your fears. Plus, this mother stranded as her chance to help this young orphan slowly slips away. I'm angry that something so small to keep me from doing something so big. Fox 29 working to get results. And another week, another Eagles loss. Frustrated fans sound off what the head coach has to say for himself now. We begin at 5 with breaking news. A school bus crash in South Jersey. Sky Fox live over the Garden State Parkway in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, where the bus crashed, hurting 20 children. Those kids are being treated at different hospitals near the scene. The crash happened less than an hour ago in the northbound lanes of the parkway. The bus, you see it right there, simply went off the highway and hit a tree. We do have a crew on the scene and to the hospital as well. We're going to bring you updates as soon as we find out more. And now a developing story. A scary afternoon inside a South Jersey classroom. A science experiment gone wrong sent several students to the hospital. Fox 29's Dave Schrottweiser is live outside Cooper Hospital in Camden. Do we know how those students are doing? Yes, Carrie, five of the students and one teacher have been treated and released from area hospitals. A sixth student was brought here to Cooper University Hospital to the trauma unit in serious condition with some serious burns. He has now been transferred out to another unnamed hospital at this point as fire and police officials investigate. He turned on the match and then it just exploded. That's how students described the scene at Eastern High School in Voorhees Monday afternoon after a flash fire broke out in a school science lab, sending six students and a teacher to the hospital. A fireball, and I can't say exactly how it happened because I didn't get, I didn't uh, attend the interview with the teacher. He was shooting water bottles, and what he does is he fills them with alcohol, and then he lights them. Fire and rescue crews arrived on scene to find the students and teacher were injured during a science experiment gone wrong. Students at the school had just finished a fire drill when a second alarm went off. People didn't think it was true when they heard a kid caught a fire, and then when we saw the kid get taken out in the stretcher, we obviously knew it was true. Minor damage with uh, the janitorial staff being able to clean it up and classroom being used tomorrow. One student, a junior, was raced to Cooper University Hospital's trauma center in camp. More serious than the others. Were, I think the uh, medical personnel felt like that they're the injuries uh, for that student were more severe that should have uh, some uh, extra attention. Um, the kid sitting closest to the desk uh, caught on fire. I heard he had to uh, stop, drop, and roll. Um, a lot of kids' backpacks caught on fire. Fire investigators arrived at the school to determine the cause as classes and outdoor activities went on. Students expressed concern for their classmates. Um, I actually know the kid, so it's very upsetting. I know the, the kid is a very relaxed kid. He was probably... He looked fine when he came out. Um, I hope he gets better. Now again, five students and one teacher treated and released. That sixth student with some serious burns has been transferred to another hospital. The Camden County Prosecutor's Office and fire officials continue to investigate the cause of that fire. Live in Camden, Dave Schrattweiser, Fox 29 News. Certainly more to come on this one, Dave. Thank you. It has happened again. Sky Fox flew over the Sunoco Station on Bustleton Avenue and Byberry Road in Northeast Philadelphia where you see a car right there plowed right into a mini mart. So check out the surveillance video from inside the market. Boy, this happened around 1215. Police say the car went right through a plate glass window and ended up completely inside the A plus mini mart. The good news here, no one was injured. The other story everybody's talking about tonight, the downward spiral of the Eagles. And add insult to injury, uh, the starting quarterback is out now. Painful hour, Howard Eskin in the newsroom. Eagles fans, they have been calling for and they continue to call for major changes. Well, they're going to get one, too. It was another brutal loss for the Eagles. Again, loaded with mistakes. So it was the same story for their fifth straight loss and against a bad Dallas team. And as I reported last night on Fox 29 News, Michael Vick will be out for the next game in Washington. The fans wanted the backup quarterback Nick Foles. Now they will get him for at least 
one more that week. we are, my friend. We'll see you in just a moment <laughs> okay. again. You know, I tell you, a lot of frustrated Eagles fans are speaking out on our Fox 29 Facebook page. Francis wrote, until they get rid of Andy, they will continue to disappoint. No other officers were injured. It is a national scandal. It has ties, though, to our area. Congressional lawmakers are meeting this week to examine the affair between ex-CIA director David Petraeus and his biography, Paula Broadwell. An FBI investigation into the affair says it was started after a Petraeus family friend, Jill Kelly, reported receiving threatening emails from Broadwell. Kelly actually grew up in Northeast Philly, but she now lives with her family in Tampa, Florida. Now the questions are, of course, when did the affair begin and was national security compromised? Fox's Craig Boswell has more from Washington. Lawmakers. He's captured kids' hearts for years, and it's always, always one of the hottest holiday toys. Why the voice behind the famous Elmo is off of Sesame Street tonight. Plus? Because I will either shoot you or call the police. Or we're not gonna be the words of a judge in family court, the overwhelming obstacles for a mother fighting for custody of her daughter. Scott? Well, Thomas, Ultimate Doppler is quiet for now, but I am tracking cloud cover and a cold front on the move. Find out when to expect some rainfall from those clouds coming up. All right, also another look at the breaking news we brought you at the top of the hour. Sky Fox live over the Garden State Parkway in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. What we know so far is that a school bus went off of the road there and into a tree. State police are telling us 20 kids are hurt. We've got a crew on the way to the scene and to the hospitals. We will bring you updates as we find out more. Fox 29 looking out for your health. Tonight we're looking at new research about autism. There's a new study published in the journal Pediatrics that finds mothers-to-be who have the flu or even have a prolonged fever may have a slightly higher risk of having a child with autism. But the study's authors say more research needs to be done. All right, so to do a little more research, we want to bring in Dr. Oz, host of course of the Dr. Oz Show. It's nice to have you with us tonight. Thank you, Carrie. Tell me specifically what this study said. Any cancers, really buckle down and making sure you eat the right things. Anyone in the Delaware Valley, you got a loved one who's got a cancer diagnosis, this is a good time to focus on what they're eating. Okay, very important. Also, finally tonight, we understand that you have a special contest for our viewers. Can you tell us about that? My ultimate healthy word giveaway every day on the show. Uh, this week, I'm going to have a healthy word of the day. You're going to go to myphilly.com. You can enter that word when you hear it on the show. And then once a day, someone's going to win 250 bucks towards groceries or something else that's fun. And then there's going to be one grand prize winner at the end of the week uh, who's going to get to come to New York, spend a couple days in the city on us. We're going to get to go to a spa. you work out with me. We're going to have lunch. And you get to come to the show and come backstage. VIP passes for you and a friend. It's going to be a blast. All you got to do is remember that word of the day when it appears and, and enter it at myfoxphilly.com. That sounds like a treat. All right, Dr. Oz, thank you for your time tonight. We'll see ya. Stay well. You too. Also, just a reminder that you can watch the Dr. Oz show every day at 4 o'clock right here on Fox 29. Sounds like a pretty good day. Too bad Doesn't we can't it? enter, I huh? Know. Remember to go to myfoxphilly.com if you're interested. She works One with the military base there as a social liaison. This morning, we spoke to Delaware Attorney General Bo Biden and Democratic consultant Eleanor Desi about the scandal. I think from, from, a, from a military perspective as a general, he thought that that was what he needed to do. And, and that's so if I said Chanel, mm -hmm. would you rather have me go, uh, you look fantastic today, or just hand you cash. You just hand me cash. I knew you were going to say that. Why would I? Who, 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 why would I want your company? Well, she has three kids. She needs exactly. money. One dollar at a time, we will get to college. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you got through college? One dollar at a time? Oh, I got to make it rain up in here. Okay. <laughs> Are you upset that she does not like your boyfriend? Because she told me in the commercial break. Oh, my God. Yes, she, so she really doesn't like him. So Do you like, like him? him? If she didn't like him, I would know about it. So I know she liked him. If she didn't like him, would it affect your opinion of him? I trust her. I would, it would, I would be a little worried if my mom did not I like my I think somebody boyfriend. in this family needs a boyfriend. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tomorrow, good day. Actor Chris Tucker talks about his role in the new film Silver Linings Playbook. Plus, last-minute travel getaways perfect for Thanksgiving and beyond. Good day starts at 425. Take a look at this little guy. He escaped the family mess. focus. We've teamed up to raise awareness for Alzheimer's. On Good Day this morning, we spoke with the BC crew. It's one of the teams for this weekend's Alzheimer's Walk. My grandmother passed away um, 20 years ago with early onset Alzheimer's. 
and my grandfather continued to support the association um, up until he passed away. Hope and to see you guys out there. So I'm gonna have to ask you, Scott, because I'll be out there. How's the weather? Yeah, uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty good, but it is gonna be chilly. Temperatures will probably be in the low 50s. So uh, just have a jacket or a sweater handy. Uh, of course, we've been talking about the warmer temperatures uh, today. 71 degrees out ahead of a cold front. And that cold front will mean, uh, yeah, temperatures will tumble as we move into tomorrow in the northeast. So we'll watch for that uh, as folks still pick up the pieces. So for tonight, we're looking at the clouds moving in. Uh, once again, showers arriving in earnest uh, after midnight. 48 degrees in the city. Suburbs temperatures are dipping into the mid-40s. Recapping for tomorrow, uh, colder, 51 degrees for the high temperature. Uh, rain to start, but then clearing as we move into the second part of the day. As we look at that Weather Authority 7-day forecast, 51 degrees for the high tomorrow. Uh, struggling to make it to 50 degrees by Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, sunshine, cool 50 degrees. And as we move into Friday, low 50s. Uh, the upcoming weekend right now, a little bit of a half and half. Saturday, dry and cool temperatures uh, in the low 50s. And then Sunday into early next week, some clouds, some showers, and some wind. We'll be watching another area of low pressure that will kind of loom offshore to bring us the unsettled weather uh, into the second half of the weekend and early next week. All right, we are forewarned. Scott, mm -hmm. thank you. Well, Thanks. take a look at this. Monday Night NFL Recap is brought to you by Xfinity, only from Comcast. Well, you know it was inevitable that Michael Vick was going to get hurt. This is the fourth straight year with the Eagles that Michael Vick has gotten hurt. Today, Andy Reid pretty much spelled out what we, we reported. I reported last night on Fox 29 that Michael Vick has a concussion that will keep him out at least the next Eagles game. But with a severe concussion, it could be a lot of weeks. If it's seven weeks, that's it. But again, it was bad plays that sent the Eagles down to their fifth straight loss. Let's go to the link. Live from Center City in Philadelphia, this is Fox 29 News at 6. Right now on Fox 29 News at 6, a pioneer program making sure those who serve their country are not forgotten. How a local university is leading the way. Plus, one mom's only got a few hours left before the window to help a teen overseas closes for good. She's suffered for the last 10 years not being loved. And she's waiting for us. Fox 29 working to get results. First, though, we have some breaking news. A school bus crash that sent nearly a dozen kids to the hospital. We first told you about the story at 5 o'clock. 12 kids hurt when this school bus crashed into a tree in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. It happened just a couple of hours ago on the northbound side of the Garden State Parkway. Crews loaded 11 children and the bus driver onto stretchers and then rushed them to Shore Medical Center and Atlantic City Mainland Hospital. Here's a live... Monday Night NFL Recap is brought to you by Xfinity. Only from Comcast. Well, welcome back. It is sports time. The Sixers announcing today they'll be without Andrew Bynum a little bit longer than they expected. Don't act too surprised. That's something our own Howard Eskin reported right here on Fox 29 quite some time ago. All right, the Sixers' first preseason game this Thursday in Orlando. But was there a star player that won't be, the, won't be there? Andrew Bynum was the big offseason acquisition for the Sixers. He's unlikely to play in any of the preseason. And with things I have been told, I'm getting the sense there is a more serious injury with Andrew Bynum's knee than the Sixers are telling us. I will go as far as saying I think the Lakers may have given the Sixers damaged goods. You look so much younger back then. That was quite some time ago. <laughs> that was before the preseason. Well, it happens to yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? You know, here's what I don't like. Just be honest with people. Tell us the truth. Playing even hard, if it hurts. But there's some players on that team that are skating a little bit. They have a lot to work out. I'll tell you. Howard, <laughs> yes, we'll see you again do. tonight at 10. All right. All right, Howard, thank you. Do Thanks. we have time for a final check of weather? The rain's moving in. We got 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds. You know when they play the music, they're playing you out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Get them out of here. We'll see you at 10, everyone. Be safe. <laughs>